In this video, we're going over how to mirror your LG K51 screen to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so it can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to walk you through how to mirror your LG K51 screen to your TV. So the first thing you will need to do to make this work is you will need an HD TV with an HDMI uh, output connection. Second, you will need home Wi-Fi. And third, you will need a Chromecast. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to mirror your screen. And the first way I'm gonna show you how to mirror everything you're doing on your screen. So every motion that you do, like if you're playing a game, it'll show gameplay. It'll show exactly what's on your screen. And in the second method I show you, I'm just gonna show you how to send a video from your phone to the TV. So if you're trying to show a YouTube video on the TV or a Netflix video or uh, a video from one of the other streaming apps, I'm gonna show you how to do that where it'll just send the video but you can use the phone um, like normal while it sends the video to the TV. So in the first method, you will need a Chromecast to, do, to mirror everything. But in the second method, it will work with a Chromecast, a Roku, uh, Fire Stick TV. In some cases, it'll work with Apple TV, and also in some cases, it will also work with a smart TV as well, depending on which one you have. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing you'll need to do is to um, go to the Play Store and download the Google Home app and install it. Once you have that installed, you're gonna need to connect to your home Wi-Fi, so swipe down and make sure that your Wi-Fi is lit up blue and you're connected to your Wi-Fi network. And next, go to your TV, turn on your TV, switch the input to the input that your Chromecast is plugged into. Now, if you don't know how to set up your Chromecast, I'll have a video below in the description that'll show you how to set up that Chromecast. So check below in the description for that video. Once you have it set up and once you've switched your TV to the input your Chromecast is plugged into, on our phone here, actually let's go ahead and slide it over. Now on the phone, what you're gonna see is this screen after you do the initial setup and you're gonna look for where it says Chromecast. Now this might say something different. It might say the room that your Chromecast is in. It just depends on how you set it up. So, uh, but it should be the option that shows up here. You're gonna tap on the little screen right here. And then you come down to the bottom and tap on cast my screen. Tap cast screen. And if you give it a second, you should see that now your phone screen is gonna show up on the TV. So now everything you do on the phone is gonna to begin to show up on the TV. So now at this point, I'm directly mirroring to the TV. So for example, if I wanted to open up Angry Birds, for example, and I wanted to show my gameplay, I could have it open and play the game and you would see everything I'm doing on the phone, on the TV. And that's the best part about this first method is if your goal is, you know, just someone watching your gameplay or doing an instructional and showing someone exactly how to use an app, this is a great option. But this is not the best option if your goal is, hey, I just wanna watch a YouTube video and I wanna show it on TV so everyone doesn't have to cry on my phone. If that's your goal, there's a better way to do it. And so what you're gonna do, let's go ahead and close out this app here. And uh, if you want your screen to stop mirroring to the TV, you're just gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and let's see. We swipe up, you'll see it says cast, and then it'll say casting screen. If you swipe down with two fingers, it'll bring up the disconnect button and just tap disconnect, and then it will stop mirroring the screen to the TV. In the second method, um, all you have to do is go to the app that has the video you wanna show on the TV. So for example, if I wanna show a YouTube video, I'm gonna go to the YouTube app, and then from here, I'm gonna go to whatever video I wanna play. So let's find one of my videos, because why would I show anything else? Let's say I wanna show this uh, TV video here. Now, a couple of important notes. 
first, let's pause the video. Look for this little icon. This is your cast icon. This little white square in the corner here. I'm gonna tap on that. Now, I mentioned it in the beginning of the video that you could play a video from your phone to uh, different devices. So just to show you, this is my Chromecast. Office is my Roku. Link with TV, I can use this to link it to my Samsung Smart TV. I could also use that to link it to my Apple TV as well. So you can link it to multiple devices. Now I don't currently have a Fire TV stick set up, but if I did, that would also show up in that list below. So you would just tap on whatever device shows up for you that you have and it'll begin to play from your phone right to the TV. In most cases, you'll be able to control the volume right from your phone, just simply using the phone volume. So I can use volume down here to turn the volume of the video down on the TV, or I can use the volume up to turn the volume up. It just depends on um, what device you're using. But in most cases, this does work. So now you'll see the video is playing on the TV. And the cool thing is now I can just simply swipe up and I can go and you know do something else on my phone. I can go download an app. I can go check my text messages. I mean, your phone, you've got complete control over your phone while the video is playing on the TV. So that's why this is such a great option. And when you swipe down from the top of the screen, you'll have a pop-up right here that'll say now playing. And from here, you can pause the video you can also fast forward or rewind using this little uh, bubble here, dragging it forward or backward. And if you're ready to stop the video from playing on the TV, just tap on the X and that will stop the video from playing altogether. And that's it. That's how easy it is to mirror your screen, your phone screen to the TV or play a video from your phone to the TV. Now I will leave links below in the description of where you can get a Chromecast. I'll have the links for the different videos on how to set that Chromecast. The process is literally as easy as you saw in the video. I try whenever I shoot a video to show you the exact process so you can see exactly what you need to do and I hope I made this easy for you guys. Like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.